Well, APD says the way they're working with the Children, Youth, and Families Department has gotten better. But we also learned tonight that those child abuse detectives with APD sometimes handling 30 cases at once. Back in 2015, APD got a report designed to help them better handle cases involving crimes against children. That report came out in 2015, and then for two years, APD did absolutely nothing to implement those protocols. City Councilor Pat Davis says last year they gave APD a directive. Bring us progress. Tell us how many officers you need. Show us that you're using the new tools you told us you needed. Tonight, counselors learned how thinly stretched that department is. Our detectives, my detectives are very stressed. Um, I do see turnover. We are trying to fill those positions as quickly and as efficiently as possible. As council enters its budget season, Davis says they plan to continue challenging APD to let them know what they need to better do their job. If the protocol says every time you encounter a kid in crisis, we want to be sure that every one of those calls has an inquiry to CYFD. While APD did not have the numbers on how many times officers have accessed an information sharing online portal, they believe the percentage of officers using it is in the upper 90s. Any mandate within the department, our officers are held to the accountability of yeah. either follow it or don't follow it. If you don't follow it, there's repercussions that come. Of course, the ultimate repercussion of letting any child case fall through the cracks is having that child die. That's why APD and the city council say that they're dedicated to continue to try to get that caseload down, hire more officers, and continue working to make sure officers use the tools that they have. Reporting here at Civic Plaza, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News.